Accra, the vibrant capital city of Ghana, home to thousands of people, has been grappling with potholes, traffic congestion, accidents and robberies on the Accra Tima motorway. But there is hope on the horizon. The Minister of Finance, Ken Furiata, six months ago, announced an ambitious plan to ease the traffic woes and make it safe with the construction of a 10-lane Accra Tima motorway. Mr. Speaker, in 2023, a number of pipeline projects which are at various stages of preparation will be pursued. This includes construction of Accra Kumasi Road and Yunnan Bypass, construction of Accra Kumasi Road for Nongo Bypass, construction of the Domea Sikam Junction and Asutuari Abayimi, including two number interchanges at the Dufour at the Dome and Asikomi Junction, Kaswa Cape Coast dualization, dualization of Secondi Adembra Roads, Takrade Aguna and Kwanta Afemanim, construction of bridge over the Volta River at Bolivo, Muepe, Ape and Daboya bridges, and also a Chiamam from bridge and Dipe, Ituri, and Ancombra bridges. Mr. Speaker, government is pursuing the strategic decision to procure the 27.7 kilometers of the Accra Tema motorway and extensions project through the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund. A PPP concession agreement backed by an appropriate toll arrangement will be presented to Parliament for approval to facilitate its execution. Provision has also been made in the 2023 and the medium term budget for the equity and viability gap funding required by a GIF special purpose vehicle to enable the project to start in earnest in 2023. The project will be delivered in phases. Mr. Sivka, the iconic nature of the project is such that when completed, there will be five lanes each on both sides of the main Accra Tema motorway stretch and six lanes each on the Tetequashi Apenkwa stretch of the road. The project will include a remodeling of the Tetequashi interchange, the reconstruction of the Apenkwa interchange, and the construction of new interchanges at the Fiesta Royal Crossroads and New Oakland area. The Ministry of Roads and Highways, however, said that the much anticipated works on the Akratama motorway has faced unexpected delays as a result of lack of funds. But during an inspection exercise of the Butiman motorway road, the government has reaffirmed its commitment to prioritizing this crucial infrastructure project. Make sure that everything supports that uh, this road pocket uh, don't go into the motorway the appropriate uh, street roads. And the contractor is doing a good job, you know, I mean, as you know, talking. He's mm -hmm. doing, you know, an excellent job. And I am happy about the progress of the work. And before the year closes, the contractor might have brought uh, this project to uh, me. So we are happy, government is happy, and everybody is happy, we know all of you, members of the press, you know. Uh, see the excellent work that has been uh, at the contractor, you know, uh, so this, we should keep on doing you know, the self so we have uh, the victory of this uh, work is progressing work and quality is ensured. It's working according to specification. The existing motorway connecting Accra and Tema has long been plagued by heavy traffic congestion, causing delays and frustration for both residents and businesses alike. The proposed 10 lane motorway will offer a significant upgrade, promising improved connectivity and reduced travel times. The implementation of such a massive project requires careful planning and execution. The Ministry of Roads has faced a complex bidding process to select the right contractors for the job. After selecting a Portuguese construction company, Mota Angel, WEX still stalled. 
But behind the scenes, many wished the project was handed over to a local contractor. In this case, GIF was the one that was going to fund part of the project. Was going to stand in for government and raise the initial amount that would be needed so that Motor Angel can execute the project. This had been going, this arrangement had been going on for a long time. Look at 2018. Yeah. 2018, 2019, 2020 was when they selected, they finally concluded and selected Mokta Angel. So after three years, we were expecting, let's say two and a half years, we were expecting that the project at least should have commenced. But nothing of that sort has happened mm. because I think the funding arrangement there has been an issue. So government through the Ministry of Road were still trying to find ways how they can get the funding so that they can start the project. And it was during uh, it was within that period that they were looking for means to raise the fund that uh, we were hit by all these. Uh, fiscal issues, let's say financial issues in the country. So government now decide that I'll go and seek for support from the IMF. It now becomes difficult for government or for even Mata Angel now to even bring in money because within that arrangement, there's no way the IMF will permit to allow government to go in for a facility or a loan to come and construct the motorway. So it had become a challenge. So Honorable, is that to say that um, the COVID-19 pandemic to a large extent caused the delay in having final discussions with Motor Angel to, to begin work on the yes, project? Yes, because between 2020 and 2021, nothing went on. We know we're in serious COVID issue. Yeah. So government couldn't, that nothing went on. So after 2021, we started they came back to the discussion to find a way how they can uh, execute this project, after which they would have even submitted the entire agreement to Parliament for us to look at it for them to start the project. But it couldn't happen. Several dates were given for commencement of the project. But the funding issue, how to structure it, because this is an innovative way, I mean, arrangement. It hasn't happened in our history before. Ghana hasn't had any PPP arrangement to construct road. So you can look at the cheating problems that right. uh, will arise from uh, this uh, arrangement. Uh, Honorable, and uh, when the bidding was announced, I'm curious. Uh, I, I believe there were, there, there were local companies who probably had interest in taking up the Akratima motorway. Why didn't you consider local companies? Out of the 23 companies that put in the bid, none of them were Ghanaian company. No local company uh, put in any bid. But like you are saying, it has become more relevant now to have a consortium of local company. We have big, big companies in this guy, local companies. Haven't you seen Maripoma, Just Small, uh, Jusor? They are big, big companies, local companies that have the capacity. Why are we struggling to go and bring a foreign company if the co company cannot execute the project? Since 20, the process started 2020, uh, 2018 to now. And we are still struggling, fighting that we need to get. If these people have the funding, they would have come in to do the project. So I don't subscribe the idea that we need to give the project to. Let's use our own local people. They are capable of doing it. Look at the... Of Angkor and Sawam Road. It's not a local company. It's Maripoma who is constructing about 31 kilometers of road. And this road is a co funding, uh, 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 let's say, arrangement that they are doing. So, government of Ghana brought part of the money, it's financing about 70% of it. And the local company, Maripoma, is also financing 30% of it. The Ministry of Roads still faced the challenge of choosing between local contractors who have a deep understanding of the region and foreign contractors who may bring advanced technology and expertise to the table. 
To overcome this dilemma, the Minister of Roads, Christian Mwakwata, proposed a unique solution during an inspection of the Potiman Motorway Road. Does this mean it gives you some form of confidence to give the motorway project to another local construction company? When we get to the bridge, we shall cross it. Uh, the motorway project is a bit complex. Mm -hmm. At the appropriate time, you know, it will be addressed. But definitely we are making efforts that wherever your know, local contractors have to pay their loan, definitely they will do that. Even where we, we see that there are complexities in any road production, we always make sure that uh, even if it's a foreign contractor, you know, that contractor partners you know, the, the, the local you know, contractors for what we call transfer of technology to them. And I can tell you, for the past six, seven years, the capacities of local contractors have been built so much by this government that virtually we can do everything. But because we want the best, wherever we have to join both uh, local and foreign contractors, why not? We will we, we'll do that. It's just like you know, uh, creating the organ. You know, the white keys, the white keys alone can give you uh, uh, music. Right? The black keys can give you music. But if you want melodious music, you combine the two. So if it's possible to uh, join contractors you know, uh, together, that's foreign and local, why not? So when we get there, we, we, we decide based on the exigencies of the time. The proposed measure of local and foreign contractors indicates a promising approach towards the construction of the 10-lane Accra to motorway. The project is set to usher in a new era of transportation in the region, reducing travel time, boosting economic activities, and enhancing the overall quality of life for Ghanaians. The hopes and expectations of thousands ride on this transformative project. Will the emerging of local and foreign contractors prove successful? Only time will tell. Reporting for Assassin News, I'm Caleb Ahinakwa. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.